<laughs> Eric, the, Eric, the is it midget or actor now? I forget. Actor. Eric, the actor. We're back to that. Okay, good. Eric, the actor. Quickly, though, I've got to take another break. Okay. Yeah. I was just calling in because I heard you complaining about the National Enquirer doing a stupid bullshit thing about AGT and you. Yes. I constantly have that kind of problem on Twitter. People constantly coming up with bullshit about me, and I'm sick of it. Well, first of all, on Twitter, nobody believes what anybody writes anyway. But the Inquirer does have, I mean, it is a newspaper with some sort of credibility, I guess. Not much, but, you know. All right, Eric, thank you for the call. Well, what, well, what is it, J.D.? My, my, my question is this. Oh, oh, you have a question. Back back when this, your channel started, your whole tagline was, no more bullshit. Right. What the hell happened to that? Well, what do I have to do with your Twitter account? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, what is no more, you, you should have a no more bullshit thing on your Twitter account. What do you, how am I responsible for your Twitter account? Howard, Howard, he sent me a Derek, weren't you threatening to sue us if we didn't fix your Twitter account? You're kidding. Oh, I want to see that. No, I'll take that on. No, Gary, you're twisting what that email says. <laughs> What the email says is that I would not put it past my family if something was to personally happen to myself or any oh, it's such a family. Family. Here's what he said. What did he say? Himself. He said, um, I can't tell you that. My, you, I wouldn't put it past my family to sue you. That's what he said. <laughs> sue us for your for Twitter what? account? Well, go ahead. Bring it on. No. No, you're not listening. I'm saying... If anything was to happen to a member of my family, yeah. listen to what I say. I'm listening. It sounds stupid. If something happens to a member of your family, I'm responsible? Because of the fact that your fans are putting out How do you know my that? personal Listen to me. I don't have control of anyone who listens. Those people are also fans of a lot of other people. You're going to hold me responsible for, you, for, for people who listen to me on the radio? You don't tell them what to do. Why don't you quit Twitter and close your account, genius? <laughs> because then I can't keep in contact with people that I like to talk to. <sighs> You on there. Wait a second. So keeping in contact with people that make you feel good is, is more important than your family's safety. <laughs> wow, J.D. Eric, your brain is so mush. No, it's not. Yeah, you, you have, not. Half of the accounts... Why doesn't I your am... family sue you <laughs> for putting them in danger with your Twitter account? Because you keep putting uh, yourself on Twitter. Yeah. What do I got to do with your family? And what do I got to do with people who listen to my it's, show and what they do? I don't have any control over them. It's because of the way that you have perceived me on this show. You think that's it's your speculation. All right. Here's what I'm going to suggest now. Now you've pissed me off. <laughs> which was a dumb thing to do. I'm never talking to you again. I'm done with you. That is below idiotic. And you are disturbed. No, it's not. Yeah. Goodbye. It's idiotic. Goodbye. Now you have nothing. Now you have no one to blame for your miserable life. The one good person in your life, me, who gives you things and makes things happen for you, and puts you on TV. You're accusing me of somehow people threatening your family, and I'm responsible. So rather than be responsible for your pain, it's I'm done with you. you period. Are, Goodbye forever. You Goodbye you forever. You hated person. Don't Goodbye. call. Then don't Tom call. A. Goodbye. Don't now call we're not painting. In. Now we're not painting you at all. Don't call in. I'm sick of you blaming me for all your fucking problems. I've had it with you. This is the last straw. Knew this would end bad. Yeah, I mean, what is with this kid? Don't call in if you don't want to be painted. Who asked you to call in? I didn't. You're the one who calls in. And I don't force you to. you've said many times that you're not going to call in again. You always call back. But now, this is our last conversation. I'll guarantee you that. I'm not like you. I don't bullshit. Now you piss me off. 
So have a happy life. Anything you want to say before I say permanently goodbye to you? No, not that I could think of. I bet you're sorry now, huh? Well, you asked for it. No more bullshit. I'm not bullshitting you. You got a problem with me? You don't have to have it. Don't call in. I don't have an exact problem. With yeah, you do. You just said you do. Don't backpedal. Your problem is that I paint you in a bad light. Not you painting you in a bad light. You know, you're, you got a problem. And your problem is not your handicap. It's your brain. You think you everyone's responsible. And if, a, and if someone tweets you poorly, then just get off it. I'm the guy who got you laid at the Bunny Ranch. I'm the guy who gets you free tickets. I'm the guy. Such a backstage to American Idol. I, I, I introduced you to Jimmy Kimmel. I put you on shows. And the thanks I get is I paint you in a bad light and I'm responsible for all the misery in your life. And Eric, and, you, and you're making veiled threats against me. I'm you, done with you. Don't backpedal, Eric. You said you said John left a voicemail. You better do this. You left a voicemail. You better do this. Yeah. And then you sent us all an email, all in capital letters, like a raving lunatic. You guys better do this. Yeah, I'm done. Introduce this guy to Johnny Frado. I mean, the, his whole world is me. Well, his whole acting career is you. I know. Eric, how many gigs do you think you're going to get once you're not on the show? Zero point zero. I realize that my whole acting gig or career is from you because I even said that online before. So I guess the question is, why would you yell at the person and and, and make veiled threats? Not even I mean, you, threats. Re- you know how they call you ungrateful and stuff. They're really right. Yes. You're just insanely no, ungrateful. No, not. Yeah, they are, Eric. Well, that, this would prove it, Eric. I mean, there's not a person on this planet who's done more for you than me. And all you do Didn't is... Didn't I just fucking say I realized that? No, no. All you did today was blame me for people that you get into fights with. I said that less than a minute or two ago that I realized... my. I don't like your tone, and I don't like how you treat me. You're a bully. You're a bully. No, I'm not. You are. No, I fucking am not. So you just said to me that I'm responsible for your misery. I don't want to be responsible for your misery anymore. I'm done with it. I also said a minute ago that you're responsible for my actions. Yeah, but you, 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 what did you try? Why did you say to Gary, you and your buddy there, Howard is responsible for all the bad shit that's going down with me? I'm not going to take your threats. And not react to them. That's evil and twisted. And I've been too nice to you. You're a bully. No, I'm not. And my, my, I'm the one being fucked and bullied. No, you're the bully. I'm not the Well, we're not bullying you. I don't call you up and tell you that you're responsible for anything that goes wrong in my life. I'm sitting here doing a radio show. How do I know people who are on your Twitter account aren't calling me up and saying horrible things and what they're going to do to me, which they do? I hold you responsible if anything happens to me. Eric, you're being bullied by Twitter followers, and in turn, you're bullying Howard. Do you see that? Your phone calls are bullying. Bullshit. Okay, well, you don't see yourself. Well, anyway, we're done with each other anyway, so what's the difference? I highly doubt it's going to last. Oh, uh, oh, watch. It's going to last. Eric, Eric, We're addicted to him like he's addicted to us. I worked with Howard for a long time. That is not a threat you want to make. You're, you're betting him that he can't live without you. I love that guy. Johnny will have... There have been people in my life who said what? I could not oh, exist. What? He was about to say Johnny will do what? The week of the chance Johnny will have me back on this show. I fucking guarantee it. Oh, listen to Well, you better have a balloon attached wow. to your wheelchair. That ain't even going to do it. I've had it with you. Johnny's going to make us put you on. Mm. Wait, are you going to do something so spectacular that we're going to need you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or some negotiator. Love here yet? No. Oh. I, 
What are the odds that she even shows up on time? 50-50. Yeah. We, we, we thought that earlier in the yeah, week. The, just... the last time we had her book, she showed up. And, and she doesn't understand that. Almost I... after the show, she showed up. She showed up on time for The View because she understands that, like it's TV and stuff. But She, she could be out in the lobby right now. I don't I know. I hope but... so. But because can't. by 8 o'clock, Jim Brewer comes in, the party's over. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've, I've allotted an hour for her. The last time she came in, she yeah. emptied her entire huge pocketbook on my desk, which was like everything from medication and tampons to used t- tissues and keys. Well, I hope she, uh, uh, listen, I hope I'm wrong. I hope she is. Oh, she is in the elevator. Great. So I got to go, Eric. Have a nice life. Bye forever. Bye forever. Bye. Bye. I mean, imagine this fucking guy calling up and saying stuff like that to Gary. I mean, what is that? I'm such a bad guy to him. I'm such a bad guy. Don't call in. All right. I got to take a break. Thanks for calling, Eric. We'll see you, man. No. Go fuck yourself. Take your club foot and shove it in your ass.